Many times, when we have conflict, we can focus on sino bang tama dito? Ikaw ba or ako? Who's right here? Is it you? And let me tell you why I think I'm right. If I'm to be honest, that's part of how I get into ugly conflict and we're not able to resolve things. The Bible is telling us, focus on the issue. What is the issue? And if you don't know, ask. For example, you're dealing with someone. Wait, wait, can I ask you, what is the main issue here? Honey, anak, co-worker, co-minister, so that we can resolve this issue. Let's not focus on who is right or who is wrong. Let's focus on what we can do to resolve this. Here, let me give you some practical tips as we unpack this. First, don't say always and never because when we do this, we are always never correct. So you're always like that. You're always late. You're always reacting. Really? Always? Always? Do not use always and never. Use I feel instead of saying you. You are the problem. I feel hurt. I feel hurt that you act this way. And then when you're exhausted, we found this very practical. The Bible tells us do not let the sun go down on your anger, right? But what if you're so exhausted and this has happened even in our own relationship, bug bug na, and you're not able to resolve it, agree to say, look, you know what? If we carry this on, it's only gonna get worse. So let's pause, rest, and then tomorrow regroup and resolve this. Finally, remember, right words, right time, right motivation. Let no unwholesome word proceed from your mouth, but only a word such as good for edification, based on the need of the moment, so that it may give grace to those who hear. So it's so important, right words that edify. Right motivation, you want to bless them. Even if it's something painful, you need to tell them. Because you love them, you have to speak it to them. But right timing is so key. Sometimes you might feel the Lord wants me to say this to you right now. Really? Might not be the right time like that. And it does volumes. It speaks volumes to the person.